Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and solstice, summer solstice 2018 is almost upon us. The light is magnificent, even in Los Angeles. And I have just a story to explain about a form of black magic that's being practiced today in the world um, where six black magicians or sorcerers um, could be all in the same group most likely might be alliances amongst groups if the going gets tough they form a hidden black magic coven six people could be for instance three men and three women and uh, before the world they appear to be very respectable people often very accomplished spiritual people I think and um, or it could be some other calling that's well respected so so these are the very powerful sorcerers and but they need a front organization that will take the fall in case the issue of black magic is uncovered by by other people and the damage that's being done to people surreptitiously through psi crime so so they form another group the overt black magic group that could be six people or more and which meet say once a month say on the full moon I'm not too up on black magic get-togethers but um, but these are people that they promise to teach black magic to or techniques that will make them powerful but which they only teach a tiny bit of black magic to enough to get them uh, to believe that they are on the road to being very powerful sorcerers and these people they mind control into doing the satanic acts that they themselves don't want to get caught for and so and so the essence of the situation is bare bones you have a secret sorcerers group maybe six people maybe three men and three women and in front of that before the public eye is the overt black magic crew the satanic cult that um, that will take the fall for any psi crimes conceived of by the secret um, black magic group so uh, to counter this I believe what we need is um, a group of of people light workers I would say 12 would be good for each of the, to counter each of these groups light against dark right so so you need an inner core of six very dedicated light workers plus you need people maybe uh, who are learning from them uh, how to help balance and maintain the light in the world and these people might constitute the, the additional number needed to get up to, to 12. That's my thought on it. And few people have in the world today have thought about the need for light to balance dark, you know. And so coming into the great age of light, that's what's going to be happening, I feel, is that people will begin to sense the need to form um, light worker assemblies that will help counter the darkness here on earth and bring it back into equilibrium and balance and harmony now's the time here at solstice we can extend our hands to other light workers in open and warm greeting and and help to co-create the harmony and unity of new life on new earth 
Now, you may be wondering, how would you know the difference between a sorcerer's group and a light worker's group? You may be asking this from the outside looking in. And I will tell you one hallmark of the sorcerer's group. Sorcerers deal in power, and they are always trying to get one up, one on the other, and to take down each other. And as soon as a sorcerer begins to feel a little bit weak, another sorcerer will try to end his life. So there's a lot of turnover in the sorcerer realm. People are always trying to kill people. People are always warring against other people. There are lots of schisms and factions and, uh, and in general bad faith amongst people. It's not unusual to find a black magic group, an inner circle of black magic people, preying upon the laity in their congregation, maybe even um, arranging for psi murder so that they can scoop up the wealth of those people and keep it for themselves. And, uh, and preying upon um, people in, in the extended group, in the greater group, uh, through um, a stimulation of the, the feral drives. In other words, it increasing the soul wounding of their own congregations. And so, so that they may profit by it in some way. Light workers, on the other hand, are the exact opposite. They are always supporting each other and promoting each other and, and feeling love for each other and helping each other grow and grace and wisdom and abundance. So that's, that's how you can tell people who bring in the light, cherish humankind, altogether cherish humankind. People who bring in the dark do the exact opposite. They're sort of a, what you might call a psi hate group, you know? I wouldn't say skinhead, but a psi hate group. And so, the thing of it is, they, a sorcerer in his marrow, in the marrow of his bones, hates everyone. <laughs> he just revels in destruction and death and chaos and all that stuff. That's what sorcerers do. Now, in the old days, long, long ago, the tradition of sorcery was different from that. And sorcerers would would align with the kingdom and help the kingdom to, to survive through the tough times. There were lots of wars on earth and so forth and they did that. But these days, sorcery has degenerated to a very warring within state. No doubt because the incoming light is creating a sense of upset. Uh, the notion that there's not that much dark left has to be pretty consternating to a black magic group.